This is a very special video. It's story time here at Ivy Acres Homestead. My camera had been set up right over here in the middle of our raised bed garden. I had been waiting and waiting to catch a really good time lapse of sunset tinged clouds moving in the sky with these dead plants as interesting foreground elements. Later, when I looked at the video on my computer, I discovered a strange orb moving in the scene. By the way, if you haven't seen my video, Ghost Caught on Video, you should check it out too. I'll play that intro sequence for you in just a moment followed by a very short story that it inspired me to write. The moving light seemed, seemed pretty playful, and it is out here in the garden, so I think I'll just call it a garden sprite. It was shot right at twilight and was set up to be 10 times normal speed. Whatever it was in front of the camera must have been moving pretty slowly for being sped up 10 times and it's just kind of gently moving in front of the camera. I wasn't here in person to see the light. I just set the camera up to run and took a walk down our road. The story that I'll read is written as if from the perspective of the garden sprite. Anyway, like I said, I've been waiting a long time for this time lapse. And because of that, I'd been putting off clearing out these dead plants for our compost. So I think I'll go ahead and do that first. Gardens Bright Encounter. At first, when Brian came out here with his little camera, I thought he wasn't going to leave. This is supposed to be my special time. This is supposed to be my special place, I thought, 
as he set up the tripod and started pressing buttons on the camera. At times like this, I wish I could just make humans stay inside their houses. Brian isn't too bad, I suppose, seeing as how he also appreciates the glow and charm of a truly beautiful twilight. He may be a goofy dancer, Maybe Brian just doesn't know that garden sprites, like me, need to dance in magical places at magical times. It's our food. You can't expect us to live on garden bugs alone, especially this time of year. Even though people can't really see us, I don't like dancing when humans are around. It's weird, but sometimes, I think they can see me out of the corner of their eye. The goats, chickens, and rabbits can see us. I don't know why humans can't. Maybe their lives are just too busy or too sad to even recognize magic in the world. One of my favorite games is to ride around the goat they named Ginger. Sometimes, I'll make her escape the prison fence by the driveway. It's funny. Ginger will be yelling and carrying on, and Wendy will come out to see what's going on. <laughs> You're so silly. Hey, goat! Come on! Come on, monsters! Goaties! You're so bad. So bad! I see you! At first, I'm sure she's looking right at me. But Wendy doesn't see me and just tells Ginger to stop being silly. The chickens are kind of stupid and not much fun. <laughs> in the run or in their coop, they can see me, but always think that I'm just there to take or hide their food. It is fun to scare the rabbits in the middle of the night. I can sneak up on them and suddenly make them hop around their cages really fast. I like doing that when it gets windy out of bed to see if everything's all right. I just don't know what she did to deserve such a great guy like Brian. Although she does love animals, so maybe I should be more considerate. Sometimes I wonder if humans would be happier and less frantic if they could see the actual magic in magical places. But then I remember that if they could see the magic, then all of the magical places would be crowded with people and we wouldn't have enough privacy for our dancing. If that happened, then the magic itself would start to evaporate. Magic is like love. You have to be moved by it to make more of it. Humans, if they could see the magic, would probably just stand there with their mouths open not dancing at all. Don't tell anyone, but a lot of sprites, when we really want to drink in the magic, will dance naked. Now I ask you, how could I do that with some strange guy pressing buttons on his camera right in front of me? Not this garden sprite, that's for sure. I'm not saying that Brian isn't good looking, or a nice enough guy, but 
I was happy to see him wander off on one of his walks so I could dance in peace. Later, I remembered that wishing a human could see me was the only way a human could kind of catch a glimpse of one of us. Remember, if you want a garden sprite to want to be seen by you, build, protect, nourish, and be moved by magical places. Speaking of nourishing magical places, I think I'll go ahead and clean out Wendy's in-ground tomato garden. Sometimes, I wonder if humans would be happier and less frantic if they could see the actual magic in magical places. But then I remember that if they could see the magic, then all of the magical places would be crowded with people and we wouldn't have enough privacy for our dancing. If that happened, then the magic itself would start to evaporate. Magic is like love. You have to be moved by it to make more of it.